Hey friends, I'm Carla from Carla Arlene Creations and today I'm going to show you how to assemble the splash color card. Okay, before I start assembling the card, I want to emboss a couple items that go on the card. I like using the embossing machine because then it makes things look a little more realistic. I'm going to use this embossing folder. It's just lines to um, emboss this piece. It's not a very big piece to emboss, but um, I thought it would be nice to have a little bit of texture to the piece that goes on the paintbrush. And I'm just trying to get it a little even in here. I'm just going to run this through. As you can see, added some lines. And then I'm going to take the paintbrush and I'm going to add some wood grain to it. Although you're not going to see all the paintbrush once you cover up part of it. But and there is our paintbrush. Now I'm just going to set this stuff aside and my embossing machine. If you don't have an emboss machine, that's fine. You don't have to emboss your pieces. It's just something I do with some of my craft projects. Now I'm going to add the pieces onto the paintbrush and I'm going to start with the bristles. I'm just going to put glue on the back of them. We're going to glue this piece on. And it actually lines up with the sides of the paintbrush. And then we have some paint. You can do this in any of the colors that you use on the side of the card. I just chose pink. glue that on like that. There's our paintbrush. Next we're going to take our card and we're going to fold it in half on the score line. Like that. And these little paint splashes go on the front of the card. You can put them in any order. There is no specific order. And I'm just going to glue these on. When I cut the card out, I had the wording put on.
And I did that by adding a text box in Design Space and then finding a font and what I wanted to say on the front of the card. And then we're going to add the paintbrush to the front of the card. You can either glue it on or you can use um, foam dots or foam strips to give it a little bit of a um, dimensional look. In fact, I think I'm going to add some foam strips on there. And I'm going to put a foam strip down the middle here. And add one on each side. And we're just going to place this on the front of the card like that. You can make your card in any color um, or pattern cardstock. That's up to you. Uh, the inside of the card, I actually cut out two paint strips. And I just did it for something interesting to look in inside the card. And I'm just going to glue these two on. And you don't have to do them exactly up and down. You can curve them like I'm doing. And I'm just going to overlap them a little bit like that. And there's the inside of the card. And then there is the front of the card. Now to assemble the envelope, we're going to take the envelope piece and we're gonna fold it on the score lines. Now we're going to take our glue and we're going to put a little bit of glue on the edge of the envelope. And then 
are going to fold this over. And then the bottom flap gets folded up and we're going to put glue on here. And glue it up. And then we have the top flap that just gets folded down. And then on this piece, we're gonna add our paint splotches. Just to decorate the envelope a little bit. And you can do these in any of the colors you use as your paint splotches. And there is that. And then your card will fit nicely in your envelope. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to assemble the splash color card. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.